Okay, what's up guys? Um, welcome to another action-packed blender tutorial. Um, today, I just wanted to show you guys um, something that I was inspired by uh, that looks pretty cool. It all started with a tweet by this guy right here, a certain Ton Rosendahl tweeted this uh, thing right here, which I thought was pretty rad. Um, so which by clicking on this led me to this and apparently this is a really awesome plugin for blender um an add-on so um i decided to check it out and kind of play with it it's relatively new because i think it was posted on uh, like two weeks ago or something like that so anyway uh you go to download tissue from github it brings you to this page here just download the zip file and pop open Blender, and this is some of the stuff that you can create with it. Um, but what I'm going to do is uh, start from scratch so you guys can know what's going on. Um, all you really have to do is go into your user preferences, as usual, if you're going to add a new add-on. Click on the add-ons tab up top and go to install from file now when you downloaded this guy right here it more than likely dropped into your downloads folder so if you go to your downloads folder over here you're gonna see tissue master that sounds like a bathroom joke uh, but you're gonna get this zip file right here so basically what you want to do is go to Blender and from your install from file thingy um, direct Blender to your downloads folder and then click on this zip file and then click install from file I've already done so and what you'll get if I search for tissue you will get this guy right here, you're just going to click the checkbox like so and then hit save user settings and that will install your fancy new plugin. Now there's not a whole ton of documentation on this thing. There, I, there was one video I found on Vimeo um, by another guy here and kind of gives us a rough breakdown on on what it does and what it's capable of but there's no audio or at least I can't get any audio to play for me um, so it's really confusing and it looks like a hyperlapse of what's going on uh, but I did wanted to check I wanted to check this out because it looks really cool and um, it looks like the possibilities of what you can create with this are truly endless so um, this is going to be the, the very tiny micro design right here. This is going to be the super high detail piece of the, of the mesh. So you can create any kind of shape that you want. And you can take that shape and apply it to another shape, which he's going to stick it onto this mesh in the background if he would stop. And um, that's where the tessellate button right here that comes into play from what I understand so it it combines those two objects to create a more complicated mesh and you can adjust the um, parameters and whatnot so we're gonna dive into that instead of watching this video I'm going to make my own video just for clarity so um, basically uh, it's pretty simple I like to just go ahead and keep the default cube I know everybody deletes it um, but we're going to just add a new sphere actually let's make it an icosphere and then make it tiny so the way I understand is if you have your first object selected you that's the object that you're going to stick onto another mesh so you take this and then shift click the other one so you're going to take this object and stick it on here and then go over here. Here's your new add-on that you just added. Uh, there's a new tissue tab right there. There are so many bathroom jokes about this, it's really bad. Maybe they should consider a new name. Um, but up here, click Tessellate and it'll take a minute to do what it does. And then from there, actually you can grab that out. So it kind of shows you exactly 
how it took the icosphere and then made it in the form of a cube and I'm pretty sure you can get uh, some other parameters other than translate like I say I'm still learning but what I did to get the crazy complicated um, mesh that you guys saw in the in the little thumbnail is to start with a basic sphere something kind of like that and then create something from scratch uh, that is kind of more complex because the more you um, let's say we go into tab mode tab into edit mode here and then we subdivide a bunch of times and then make sure proportional editing is on and just kind of make something I don't know what I'm doing exactly something kind of like that and then if we put our 3d cursor here ish this is the mo the least efficient way to do this and then go back out of edit mode and then we're going to add a an empty right here you guys will see where this is going in a second and then just add an array and let's just make it four it's fine disable relative offset and then choose object and then select that empty and then take this empty and then rotate it on the Z there we go so something generally like that and then apply that modifier so you get something that's halfway complex and then you with that selected you shift select your sphere click tessellate and this might take a minute to generate there we go so instantly we're we're left with a quarter of a million vertices so it could be really crazy really fast and here is where oops, here's where you get your tessellate options down here at the bottom so um, there's different fill modes which is really cool so that's it's currently at quad and you can change this to fan and I think this is actually a cooler way to to calculate this stuff it takes it a minute depending on how many verts we're generating here wait for it wait for it also I must uh, there we go yeah it's only 1.1 million verts no big deal so this can get out of control real quick um, so if we go back to quad it might be a little bit faster um, and then you can choose these buttons down here to adjust that's kinda something that I did there we go that's the kind of crazy thing that I framed up for the still um, but anyway you can go nuts with this and create a ton of really cool organic shapes uh, like a lot of um, what was used in the uh, let's see this guy here boom yeah stuff like that that's really cool right there so I, I would imagine if you can if you can do a lot of hexagonal you know organic looking cellular stuff like that um, you can totally create a lot of really complex pineapples like this anyway uh, that's all I got for now uh, that was just my little quick tip of the past little bit because I know I hadn't posted anything in a long while but anyway that's all I have for you guys and I love each and every one of you. Peace out. You guys have fun.